Let's look at this function. So there are some functions that have interesting characteristics. If you look, this function is also broken. However, you can see very interesting things happening right at x equals negative 1. So let's just explore that possibility. So if you take x equals negative 1 and keep going down, you can see that the graph just keeps getting closer and closer to it, but never actually touches it. Similarly, if you go up, you can see that the graph gets closer and closer to x equals negative 1, but never touches it. This is behavior very particular, and so it has a special name in mathematics. It's called asymptotic behavior. So as x goes to negative 1 from the left, the function value shoot to infinity. When x values come to x equals negative 1 from the right-hand side, the function value shoots to negative infinity. So this line, x equals negative 1, is called a vertical asymptote. An asymptote is a line to which a curve gets closer and closer to eventually. Do you see any other asymptotes? Look at it carefully. That's very good. You can see that something interesting happens at y equals 20. So if you zoom into the function, you will see that as x gets larger and larger, the graph almost looks like a horizontal line uh, on the left-hand side and right-hand side. So as x shoots to positive or negative infinity, your graph the y-coordinate is getting closer and closer to y equals 20. So that's called horizontal asymptote. So y equals 20 is called horizontal asymptote. So end behavior of a function means what happens to a function when x goes to infinity or negative infinity. In this case, the function gets closer and closer to horizontal line y equals 20. Let's look at the end behavior here. There are no vertical asymptotes or horizontal asymptotes. Here, the end behavior as x goes to infinity and y goes to positive infinity. Because you can see the graph just keeps going up and up and up. And on the left-hand side, when x goes to negative infinity, the graph also keeps on going up, which means y goes to infinity. So the end behavior here is that the function shoots to infinity, whether x goes to positive or negative infinity. Let's take a look at this problem. Pause the video here. See what you are able to do on your own. We want to make sure that you understand all the terminology that we just looked at. x-intercept, y-intercept, and behavior, asymptotes. And then in addition to that, everything you already knew about finding function values and so on. So pause the video here. If you're feeling tired, stop, go do something else, and then come back to this later. So go ahead. Let's see what we can do. Don't get overwhelmed. Breathe. Bring your focus. One thing at a time. Be kind to yourself. Don't be judgmental. Remember, we're using mindfulness practice to stay present in the moment. Don't get carried away with your emotions. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just stop and come back when your brain is not tired. All right, so x-intercepts are places where the graph hits the x-axis. So you can see that's at negative 3. Y-intercepts are places where your graph hits the y-axis, in this case at 6, so 0, 6. And when x is going to positive infinity, looks like the graph gets closer to 4. When x goes to negative infinity, the graph also gets closer to 4. So y equals 4 would be horizontal asymptote. When x gets closer and closer to negative 2, y shoots to inf negative infinity. When x gets closer and closer to negative 2 from the right, shoots to positive infinity. So that's the end behavior. All right, let's take a look at f of 2. 2 is over here. So 2, go up to the graph, and over, you see it's 5. So f of 2 would be 5. You want to know for what x values is f of x equals 2. 
So we find y equals 2 and go left and right. If you go to the left, you can see x equals negative 4 gives you that. So f of negative 4 gives you y coordinate of 2. Now you're asked where the function values are greater than 0, which means where the y coordinate is greater than 0. Clearly, for all x values bigger than negative 2, you have all y coordinates positive. You can see that all y coordinates are positive when x is greater than negative 2 or less than negative 3. In not including negative 3, because at negative 3 you have exactly equal to 0. Where is your function values less than 0, which means below the x-axis. So that would be between negative 3 and negative 2. It's very important you understand how to look at a graph and extract all of this information and keep all the terminology in your head. So to review, x-intercepts are all points on graph where the graph cuts the x-axis. So you would set y to 0. So all coordinates would look like a comma 0, where a is a real number. Y-intercepts are all points of the graph that cut through the y-axis. So you would set x to 0. And that means the coordinates would look like 0 comma a, where a is a real number. And behavior refers to what happens to the function as your x goes to plus or minus infinity. You can see that the function can go to infinity either when x goes to infinity or minus infinity, or f of x can go to negative infinity, which means that the graph drops below the x-axis as x goes to infinity here, or as x goes to negative infinity here. Another thing that could happen as x goes to plus or minus infinity is that the function goes to a finite real number, say a either from above or from below. That will give you horizontal asymptote for that function. So in summary, when a function goes to plus or minus infinity as x goes to a, you have a vertical asymptote. If a function goes to another function as x goes to plus or minus infinity, we say the function g of x is an asymptotic curve. If that g happens to be a constant, you get a horizontal asymptote. If the g of x is equal to a linear equation, then you will end up with an oblique or a slant asymptote. Don't worry too much about the slant asymptote right now, but we will study it later. So this behavior means that essentially, the graph of the original function looks like g of x if you zoomed far out as x goes to infinity or minus infinity. To say a function is greater than 0, function value greater than 0 means that the y coordinate is above the x-axis. Function value less than 0 means that the y coordinate is below the x-axis. So that means if you look at this example here, when your x coordinates are between negative 2 and 2, you can see the green function. That's the above the x-axis. And for x values less than negative 2 or greater than 2, the function you see here, the red part of the function, is below the x-axis. Exactly at x equals 2 and negative 2, you have x-intercepts, which means that the function value is exactly equal to 0. And also when x is 0, the y-intercept in this case is 8. You can also see that y equals negative 2 would be the horizontal asymptote as x goes to plus or minus infinity. Just a quick review about asymptotes. This is a good time to start an inventory in your toolbox so that you have the tools ready when you need them. So relations we started with, then we worked with special kind of relations where every input has a unique output called functions. And then we looked at vertical line test that tells us whether a graph of a relation is a function or not. We studied properties of functions like intercepts, end behavior, asymptotes. There are many other things we studied in this section. So it would be important that you go review and make a toolbox so that all these tools come in handy when you need them.